A signature moment in the rich history of research at Penn State. That's now in motion. When Evan Pugh, Penn State's first president, arrived in 1859, he immediately built a laboratory. Pugh believed that the principles of education were twofold, active hands-on teaching and practical and applied research. Research has been an educational keystone throughout the university's history and has established Penn State as a national and world leader in a variety of research disciplines. I mean, Penn State has become internationally recognized as a research institution. I don't think there's any question about that. We have, you know, many signal achievements in research, many nationally recognized researchers. Erwin Mueller, a German-born physicist, developed both the field ion microscope and field emission microscope. And in August of 1955, in Osmond Building on the Penn State campus, he became the first person to obtain a clear image of an atom. That garnered enormous amounts of national publicity, international publicity. And so uh, he very rapidly moved from being research professor to being Evan Pugh professor. He would be uh, a member of both the National Academy of Sciences and the National Academy of Engineering because this was just not the pure science of the physics. It wasn't just he was looking through an instrument and discovered things. It was the, you know, the entire creation of this instrumentation uh, that was a, you know, a, a significant engineering problem. Penn State professor of physics, Erwin Mueller, the inventor of the field ion microscope and the first man to see an atom. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.